Hi everyone, thank you once again for tuning in today and I'm hoping you all are having a wonderful time. So the UK media should know that Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan left the UK four years ago, now headed to five years. They are doing their own work. They are no longer cutting ribbon members of the royal family. They are doing absolutely good work outside of the UK. And everything they do is none of their business. In fact, Harry and Meghan are doing far much more work than these working than these working members of the royal family in quotes. They have proven that someone can actually do charity work, someone can do volunteer work, someone can support other people without being taxpayer funded. And that drives the UK media and the royal family crazy. Because they don't want that narrative to be sold out there. They don't want other people to say that so someone can survive outside of that family without being taxpayer funded. Because their other royals depend on taxpayer money. And it just baffles me how these people continue to follow Meghan up on everything. And now they came up with this very absurd thing. So the Mira had written this article saying that Meghan Markle breaks major royal rule on visit to children's hospital in Los Angeles. Well, Meghan visited these children and it was a very, very lovely visit. She read stories to them. She was having a wonderful time with these kids and supporting them. But then the UK media still want to find something wrong with the visit. They still want to appoint a finger to Megan for something that is not even making sense. First, have they actually forgotten that Megan is no longer a working member of the royal family? She can do whatever she wants. She can wear whatever she wants and they have no obligation to be calling her out for anything. In the past years, when Meghan was still a working member of that family, there were like a million articles saying how Meghan broke this rule, Meghan broke that rule, but then when another person of that same family did the exact same thing that Meghan did, or even wore the exact same thing that Meghan wore that was deemed to be a rule break, they were never flagged. But it was always Meghan who was being told that she is doing things the wrong way. You see, the double standards were so appalling and they still are. First, they should know that Meghan is no longer a working member of the royal family. These protocols, these made up protocols, because obviously they are made up for Meghan, don't make sense now. So if they're talking about Meghan's dress, if they're talking about Meghan visiting children at a hospital and deeming that as royal rule break, then they should just uh, stay with their own opinions. They should not tell people their opinions because it doesn't make sense. Meghan has a right to do whatever she wants and they can continue staying mad. Clearly, they're just trying to bash Meghan for something that is non-existent. When anyone looks at Meghan's visit, it was such a sweet thing. Like, she was just there and everything was so lovely. There's nothing wrong about what Meghan did. And so whatever rules these people have made up in their own minds just proves how deluded they are and how they continue to try and control Meghan and, and everything that she does. But one thing they should know is that Megan is never going to be controlled. She is going to do whatever she wants and there's absolutely nothing that these people can do about it. Also, this is the exact same reason why Megan left that country because of things like this. And Megan now owes these people nothing. She owes them no kind of explanation. She doesn't, uh, she doesn't need to dress however these people want because she's living her life. Whatever she wears or what, wherever she goes is funded by money from her own pocket, not taxpayer money. So she is not going to dim her light for the sake of these people. Neither is she going to do things just to please these people, period. And well, another absurd thing that I came across is this Daily Mail article. 
attacking a black person just because he is supporting Meghan and has his own opinions about the royal family. So this article was reading how a UCLA's race and equity director who fondly calls Meghan American princess is spreading, is spreading vile conspiracies that Kate's cancer is fake while being paid 126,000 to uphold compassion. So why won't the university fire him? So they're calling for the university where this person works to fire this person because he has opinions concerning the royal family. First of all, they should know that so many people don't believe the cat story. It seemed like something that was just made up by the palace to gain sympathy. This person is not the only one in this. And so coming after an American, a private citizen, who's living so far away and who's just a supporter of Megan just so that they can try to silence people who have anything to say about Kate is just so pathetic. And what is wrong with people referring to Megan as a princess? You know what? Megan is an American princess. Have you all seen how she looks? This woman is a gem. And I see that it's driving the Daily Mail and the Daily Mail and so many other derangers crazy just seeing how people are referring to Megan as American princess. Well, I think we'll be referring to her as an American princess often now. And well, I just found this to be very, very disgusting. And I don't understand why they are attacking Americans who support Meghan to try and benefit Kate Middleton or others in that family. But they should know that people won't deter from supporting Meghan just because they threaten them. In fact, we are going to support Meghan even more. This was just a very, very pathetic move and the person who wrote this article should feel ashamed of themselves. They should absolutely feel ashamed of themselves. The thing is, the reason why people are even coming up with conspiracy theories and the reason why people don't believe whatever is coming from that palace is because Kensington Palace, first of all, has been named as an untrustworthy source. Like a whole palace being named as untrustworthy because of the things that they have been feeding the public. And then now, because they released a video that looks AI generated and, and they don't want people to speak about it, they are now calling out people's names, calling out private citizens. Make this make sense. I'm sure that there are people who live in the in the UK who also see the BS that the UK media and the royal family are carrying out. So many people are seeing this charade. But people are not going to be scared because they are going after um because they're trying to go after them. In fact, the support of Meghan is going to increase even more. This was just a very stupid move and if they think they're going to scare people away then they should think twice. Can you imagine if they did this for people who spread conspiracy theories about Meghan? I think the world, the world would be a better place to live in, right? But scaring people who only support Meghan and don't believe the lies of the palace doesn't add up. So whatever they're doing ju just doesn't add up and it continues to even increase the number of people who are going to support Megan because they can now say that the other side is just so deluded. So that's it from me today. Kindly just leave your comments down below on what you think about the British press still holding Megan accountable saying that she broke royal royal uh, royal protocol and also trying to go after americans just because they support megan so just leave your comments down below and i'll see you all next time goodbye